Gemini Intuition Angel here reading for you guys for the beginning of June until the 7th. I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Geminis out there. Check your birth chart if this does not resonate for you. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You can also contact me for personal readings. That information is in the description box below for you down there, along with everything else you need to know about this reading. All right, Gemini? So let's see what's going on with you guys for the beginning of June. What's going on with Gemini? For the beginning of June, we're in Gemini season right now. Happy birthday to the Geminis. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, so we have relationships here. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. All right, what else for Gemini? All right, balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. All right, so I'm getting that you guys are starting to clear out your your friends list. You're starting to not talk to people that don't serve your highest good. I'm starting to get that you guys are um, pretty much staying balanced in everything that you do, especially in the way that you communicate with others. All right, Gemini, let's see. What else for you guys? Beginning of June. All right, so I'm getting, all right, worry here. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. All right, so something could be distracting you here. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys could be like trying to be airy and fun and light and peaceful right now, but there's just something nagging at you. Or this could be your person, right? Because you do know if you're in a, a situation where someone is sending negative energy towards you, you are going to absorb that energy, whether you know it's your energy or not. So I feel like there could be some um, anxiety going on here. For you guys, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. For a Gemini. Alright, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Alright. Someone is a little bit worried about how balanced you are when it comes to relationships. I feel like either you have a lot of people around you or someone thinks that you have a lot of people around you. Look, we have loneliness here. So someone, someone is dealing or battling with some sort of codependency issues here where they feel like they have to be around people all the time. But I feel like um, you're starting to balance that. But I feel like that's your person. Someone here needs to be around people all the time. And that's not good. I feel like I'm talking to a high vibrational Gemini right now who doesn't really need a lot of attention from people. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture here. What else? What else for Gemini? Okay, so yeah, someone does have deep feelings for you. That's also what I wanted to say. Um, they do want to express their feelings, but I feel like they just worry because of how balanced that you are. I feel like maybe you changed or something. Alright, what else for Gemini? Alright, so yeah, so reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Gemini. So I feel like someone here definitely worries about how to come back or express something okay yeah trust the situation is calling for you to have faith forgiving and learning all right someone is worried that you won't accept them back in someone is worried that you don't have feelings for them anymore it's, it's all about trust okay so you're dealing with someone who is worried about the trust in the situation they want you to forgive them they're worried that you won't forgive them, okay? Let me get some more for Gemini, please. Energy for Gemini, please. Okay. Yes, we have chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here with finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in love life right now. So I'm hearing someone say that they're the reason why they treated someone a certain way or the reason why they went about something a certain way is because, you know, the finances. Also, there could have been children involved, uh, Gemini. Could be dealing with a cancer. Okay, but you have chemistry with someone. Someone's going to come back. Okay. Someone is definitely going to come back. Because they realize who they are to you. Or they realize who you are to them. There's some imbalance in this relationship though. But I feel like it's it's all about give and take I'm giving, getting. It's like... Someone isn't really getting the, um, yeah, someone here needs to be alone and deal with their own codependency issues. I feel like someone here is not really, really giving the way that they need to. And I feel like it has a lot to do with, you know, codependency. I don't know why I'm getting that. But someone here worries a lot. Okay, Gemini. 
All right, what's going on with Gemini? For the beginning of June, we have the three of swords that just popped out, all right? What else for Gemini? Someone rising and Venus signs. Someone in here is in pain, they're heartbroken. There could have been a third party involved. All right, so you have the Eight of Wands here with the Four of Pentacles, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, Scorpio Energy, and the Lovers. All right, so we have this Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here. Someone's holding back communication. I feel like the fact that someone is holding back communication is really hurting someone's heart, or I feel like someone here is in deep pain over that, okay? So we have the Tower here with the Lovers. Someone here is just now realizing that, you know, maybe time has ran out, also here with the Wheel of Fortune here. I'm hearing Scorpio, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio again, Taurus energy. All right, so this person is having a shocking realization that you're their match here, Gemini. I feel like things are changing, like there's a sudden change happening here too, Gemini. Why the Three of Swords for Gemini? There's that Eight of Wands again with the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Why the Knight of Cups for Gemini? Yeah, the Tower again. So someone here is like shocked that maybe either someone here is giving another offer. Someone here is shocked about an offer being made. They're having an epiphany and, it, and it's... I'm also getting that the person who's giving the offer is having an epiphany and wanting to bring an offer in through communication. Yeah, someone here sees something differently now. Um, having a shocking realization, an enlightenment, a new idea. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces, okay? Yeah, and they want to bring you an offer, but I feel like they're just like waiting to communicate. I don't know why. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the pain that they cause or the pain that they're enduring right now. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, for Gemini. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here sees you as someone very beautiful. They want to provide for you. They want to take care of you. I'm getting like sugar daddy energy with this uh, Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles here. This King of Pentacles will do anything for this Queen of Wands because she's beautiful, all right? And I don't mean that in a bad way, you know, because I don't, I'm not feeling like that you guys are the type to... You know just be known for your looks but i feel like that's how this person feels about you okay we have the ten of pentacles here you guys could like have potential to have a family they they're building up the confidence to have a family with you tell me more about the ten of pentacles please for gemini yeah the chariot um uh, making progress they f they find you as someone that they can have great progress with yeah the nine of cups they feel like you're the one that can like fulfill their wishes or help them fulfill their wishes here could be dealing with a Scorpio, all right? It's like they're changing. It's like they're focusing on you now, okay? Clarify the four of pentacles, please, for Gemini. Someone rising in Venus signs. There's strength, the justice, and the nine of pentacles, and the five of swords. All right, for, this is what I'm getting for some of you. There's could be a court situation going on here with the justice and the... Um, strength card. I feel like there's an, um, it could be about money. It could be about money. Someone here is trying to get in the way of someone's finances here. Hold back finances. I feel like you're going to win this court case or whatever you're doing because you're going to come out on top with the nine of pentacles here. And then we have the five of swords here. Like someone is like jealous and envious of that. They want to sabotage it here. Someone is like jealous and envious of your spirituality too. And the good look that you have. All right. And the knowledge that you have about the dark the dark stuff. Like you have you have knowledge about the dark stuff, right? You have knowledge about the dark stuff and the light stuff, Gemini. So it's like you're your own manifester. It's like you're an alchemist. You have the Knight of Wands here. Tell me about justice, please. I feel like they're going through karma. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Someone here is burdened. They're going through some karma here. I feel like you're happily single, though. I feel like you're just living your life and being abundant. But I feel like someone here is, like, shocked, okay? All right. So maybe that Queen of Wands energy was a, a third party. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. The Queen of Wands is a third party who is probably in the way of this uh, 
connection between you guys and you just went moved on and went became single and then right when you moved on this person became burdened okay with the queen of wands i feel like the queen of wands was always being taken care of by the king of pentacles here because of her looks okay clarify the wheel of fortune please okay wheel of fortune please for gemini someone rising a venus signs wheel of fortune for gemini you have the Hierophant with the Seven of Swords here and the Two of Cups and the Lovers. I feel like someone was trying to get in, t in the middle of something destined. Someone was trying to really mess with a spiritual connection here, Gemini, and it did not work out. I feel like they got caught by spirit is what I'm getting here. I feel like they, they endure, they're enduring their karma right now and they're enduring a lot of burdens for trying to mess with a Twin Flame situation or a Lover situation here. Soulmates here I'm hearing, Gemini. Tell me more. Why Why the uh, Seven of Swords, please, for Gemini? Yeah, the Three of Cups. It was a third party that tried to ruin um, a Two of Cups situation. I feel like it was very passionate, very sexual energy. Yeah, I feel like Spirit called judgment on that. All right. I feel like someone here was, like, giving energies to multiple people, too. Like, someone got caught doing that. Okay, so we have uh, Sagittarius energy with the world card. I feel like Archangel Michael was involved in this. I feel like all of this was being revealed by spirit or not revealed, but like someone, someone's intuition came on automatically about a person. Yeah, and they started to get really mad about that with the Knight of Swords here. And it had a lot to do with this third party. So why is the tower here for Gemini, someone rising in Venus signs? Yeah, Judgment with the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. And the Fool. Remember what I said? Okay, so this is a Twin Flame situation for sure. I feel like the Divine is all over this situation here with the Judgment card. They're calling Judgment on some in and out situation going on with the Four of Wands. So I feel like someone here can't run in and out anymore. They can't run around and cheat anymore. It's like they're being watched by the Divine here. They can't juggle anymore. Yeah, there's being an end put to this. I feel like... Uh, there's a masculine energy wanting to actually focus on things now. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords here. Okay, someone here is not so happy about that. So, yeah, someone here is not so happy. They feel reject rejected. Someone here is not going to stop trying to get into the middle of, of a Twin Flame relationship. I'm sorry, guys. It's just the way this is going to go right now. This is how I feel. I feel like this person is going to end things at their own demise, I'm hearing. I feel like this person is, like, very bullheaded. They don't listen. I don't know who I'm picking up off of, but someone here is trying to get in the middle of a relationship. And I'm also getting, like, it's the person's friends or the person that they're, like, dealing with or the person or someone in their family or something like that. Yeah, I'm getting that with the queen. Of, okay, yep, yep, yep. There's the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is like someone who is like in the family, okay? So this person could have an Aries Leo Sag in their family that's always trying to get in the middle of your guys' relationship or something like that. That's for some of you. Clarify the lovers, please. For Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus signs. You have the Four of Pentacles here with the Moon card and the High Priestess. Wow. And the Queen of Swords. Someone here is definitely using their intuition about the situation. Um, it's either about a Queen of Swords or this Queen of Swords, with, which is your energy, is very disinterested in something because she's using her crown chakra, her, her third eye, her intuition with the Moon card and the High Priestess here. And she's holding back from the situation. Okay? I feel like there's secrets about it. There's some deception Clarify the moon card, please, for Gemini. We're going to figure out what this deception or what's hidden. Something was being hidden from you guys, Gemini, and you guys figured it out. Or something was being hidden from your person. Or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is trying to hide something from someone. I don't. I want to know what this is about. Why is the moon here with the High Priestess for Gemini? Why is the moon here with the High Priestess for Gemini? moon here with the high priestess for Gemini. 
I feel like, okay, so we have the world card here. So I, I this is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like the secret here is that you're not giving into the situation anymore. I feel like maybe you just ghost, yep, you ghosted someone with the hermit here. Yeah, and now you left someone confused. I'll say, okay, so I feel like you, you're giving someone a mystery. They, they see you as their lover, but you're not saying anything. You're like a mystery to somebody here. Okay, that's that's what's hidden here. I thought it was deception, but I feel like the the fact that you uh, ghost this person is pretty much karma. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Now they got to sit there and think about everything. The Five of Wands with the Sun here and the Devil. So I feel like they're starting to realize, you know, maybe everything wasn't as um, as happy as they thought it would be here with the Devil. I feel like this person has invested into the Devil in some way, shape, or form, and. That's their karma. I feel like they're analyzing everything now. And their karma is you not speaking also. What's the energy for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini, please, Spirit? Someone rising Venus signs. Any messages for Gemini? Yeah, I feel like, okay. Spirit is saying someone definitely went quiet. Yeah, emotions are running high. This person does have feelings for you. I'm also getting like there's some fighting going on with this third party too. Yeah, okay, you and your loved ones are safe. You're protected from all of this. I feel like you're connected to uh, spirit in a way. Okay. Yeah, you're protected in a certain situation here. Yeah, it's time to release negativity here. Nothing will come of this situation here. With a personal issue, reaches resolution. So here's what I'm getting. It could be either them that have to let go of um, a situation that's not for them. Or this is you. Okay. Releasing them. There could be both going on right now. So keep in mind, you know, energy. Energy. I'm just picking up of energy right now. Harmony. I feel like you guys are going to end up coming together because something here is not for someone. Okay? Patience and planning here. There could be some patience that needs to be involved. I feel like someone here is being quiet while they're planning. Okay. Temptation here. There's some sort of toxic energy, energy being involved in this situation. Um, I feel like someone has to really isolate themselves from it. Okay, so we have the solar plexus chakra here. That's that creativity. I feel like while they're planning, they're trying to be creative about maybe how to come towards you with a date. Uh-huh. Okay, so why is rest and rejuvenation here for Gemini? All right, choose wisely with wisdom and disruption. I feel like someone here is trying to um, get by themselves. They're not trying to listen to anyone's opinions, okay? Because I feel like maybe someone tried to get in the way of someone's destiny. They feel like they feel like these people or this person is trying to get in the way of someone's destiny here. So they realize that they have to choose wisely, not be tempted, not be disturbed in, in their spiritual walk. I feel like this person is going some sort of like astro projecting walk of wisdom right now. If they're not doing it physically where they're actually, you know, going on a retreat. It's like they're actually trying to spiritually heal themselves. So that they can make wise choices here. And they're also trying to meditate before they make a choice. Here, here with the magician here, the knight of cups, I feel like this person is trying to manifest an offer. And they're also trying to get more information with the page of swords here. Yeah. But I feel like with the five of wands here also, there's also people involved trying to maybe deter this person. Okay. I feel like maybe they're not going to let them get involved in the situation because they're going through so much karma with these people. All right, Gemini, that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.